what's up everybody uh, haven't made any videos in a while but um, figured I'd uh, make a video about what I've been working on lately uh, this is a brand new never used uh, crossfire injection renegade intake manifold um, I picked it up about a month ago uh, actually got it for free and the reason is it was missing the, uh, the top plate um, as you can see it's brand new it's never been bolted to a motor um, I went ahead and uh, since I've heard a lot of bad things about the fitment of these these manifolds toward the late the last part of the production run um, I went ahead and um, verified the fit on a um, small block uh, long block all the uh, all the intake ports line up all the intake bolts line up. Um, it actually seems to be machined pretty well. It's just some brake cleaner staining. Um, I mean, I don't really see any problems with it whatsoever, other than, uh, I mean, a couple of these top plate bolts are a little bit close to the, uh, to the edge of this here, but um, test fitted a thermostat housing with a thermostat to it. Um, drop a distributor in when it was sitting on the block everything lines up perfect um, and like I said since it was missing the uh, the top plate um, I went ahead and picked up a 3 8 inch thick um, piece of aluminum bar stock um, it's 6061 aluminum, so it's strong, very strong, actually. Found out when I was cutting it. Um, but I went ahead and made this top plate. Um, and really, the only thing left I got to do to it is to um, drill the holes around the perimeter for the mounting. And um, once that's done, I can locate, as you can see here, these are your, um, these use your stock outer throttle body mounting bolts. Um, once I drill those, I can go ahead and um, basically take a stock throttle body mounting gasket, lay it on there, square it up, and cut my holes for the, uh, for the throttle openings. Um, other than that, yeah, like I said, I guess I, uh, I can't complain since it was free um, and never been used before. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it on the car or not being that it is a 305 and I know these were designed for 350s I'm not really sure if the gain is going to be there on a 305 um, that's there on a 350 um, you know the airflow demand on a 350 is quite a bit more than uh, than a 305 but um, you know I might play with it I'm not sure um, if, if I end up not using it I'll probably just get rid of it uh, throw it on eBay or something like that unless uh, you know somebody here wants it but um, you know like I said it's brand new it's never been used um, so probably over the next couple of weeks or something like that I'll um, you know I'll finish the top plate and everything um, and uh, you know as far as inside you know I'll probably end up getting uh, probably just a set of uh, 12 um, 3 8 coarse thread, you know, like button head bolts or something like that, um, just so there isn't a big, big, huge bolt head sticking out there in the plenum, um, you know, but uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I've been up to, and like I said, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it, um, I mean, there's only uh, really so much I want to do to this car, this Trans Am, and you know, with the stock cam and stuff like that still in there, you know, I don't really feel like going back into the motor again, changing the cam, stuff like that. I mean, I've, you know, like I said before in previous videos, I've got one six rockers on it and I might just call it good with that. Um, I did, you know, like I said, I ported the base. Uh, the last time I pulled the manifold out, I actually ported it pretty, pretty heavily and uh, made a pretty significant difference in, in mid-range and top end over even the first time I ported it. I cut back the runners a little bit. Um, I actually shortened them quite a bit. Uh, I want to say about an inch. I shortened the runners up. Um, 
and uh, I mean, it made a big difference. And you know, I mean, for what it is, it's you know, just a daily driver. Um, you know, I mean, it's good enough. I mean, what are you gonna do with a 305 anyway? How much can you, how much can you take it? But uh, anyway, just want to make a video and show what I've been up to lately. And um, you know, like I said, if anybody, uh, if anybody has any interest in this thing, um, you know, I'll definitely post once this top plate is done. And um, you know, like I said, if you're interested, let me know. If not, you know, like I said, I'm not really sure um, what I'm gonna do with it yet. I may decide to just grab a gasket kit and throw it on there and just see how it runs, but, you know, odds are against that. But, uh, you know, anyway, uh, more videos to come. Let me know if you guys want any, uh, got any requests for any new content or anything like that um, or anything like that. So, um, yeah, just comment.